In some cases you need a structured output in a certain way. So let's see how we can use a structured output parser in N8N to achieve this. Sometimes AI produces a bunch of crap and some people shouldn't use it. For example, today I have gotten this spam email, which is about one of 20 to 50 spam emails I get every day. And I can tell you this is an AI generated mail because the first part here is extracted by taking my email address and extracting the part in front of the add character. And it's lowercase because some people don't know how to do proper formatting. The next statement is that MQL5 tutorial is about adult care and they talk about adult pull up diapers. But actually MQL5tutorial.com is about creating automated trading systems, which is easy to get, but this diaper spam specialist totally missed the point. But the email actually is from myaiexpert.com, which he is not. Or maybe it's a she. I think it doesn't really matter because I think this name is also not the right one. And that's where we get back to the structured output parser. Because if you use AI, you want it in a way that it actually can produce the output that you need. And that's where this structured output parser comes in. This JSON object here looks a little bit scary, but let's take the whole part. We can now open up the website from our OpenAI tools agent and let's explain the JSON object by using our own AI solution. And here is the whole breakdown about the structure, the key components, the properties, why we have certain items and why we have something that is required. Basically what this does is, it tells our basic LLM chain how to behave. So it does the same that we have done with the OpenAI message node. But this component here is the guarantee that we get exactly the kind of output that we request. So let's run this chat and say something like, I need a response about how Chinese spammers could improve their email output quality and run the whole thing. We should see the workflow is running. So far we have the model that is thinking now we have edited the fields, the basic LLM chain is called and it should now call the structured output parser to actually produce an email with a subject and a body. And here is our email, best practices for email deliverability to improve the quality even in the context of Chinese spammers, here are some best practices. And if you wonder what these two symbols here actually mean, well, this is Markdown. And if you don't want that, you can add another component, but basically it works as expected. And now you know how to use a structured output parser to make absolutely clear what kind of output you need. Hey, if you are a business owner, premium business automation would be interesting for you because you can get free courses about AI automation and business automation workflows. It's completely free. You don't have to log in or do anything. Just go to the site, enjoy the videos. And if you want to get in touch, you can click on this button to send an email or just use voice recording. For now, I say thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.